I have previously on another video shown you how you can create a tracker so you can um, track staff's leave, um, either vacation, personal days, or sick leave. Now, um, on this one, for example, I'll show you how I did it. And um, what we do is enter leave. And then I type in the person's name. So let's, um, let's type in Carol. And then there's a drop down on the type of leave that they want. And so I'm going to say vacation. And I'm going to say month is January. And start day is the 11th. And the end day is the, um, let me see what the 11th. 15th, she wants to take that whole week off. And so then um, what you would do is you'd press enter and the leave would be entered. And so there you have her vacation and there, there you can see that the, her vacation hours have been deducted from, um, from the total. Now, the thing that I've added on this one, which I think is kind of, kind of a good thing. So you're going to approve um, Carol's vacation for this week. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create a form that you can email back to her saying that it has been approved. So what you have done now is I'm going to click to save. And then I go to the leave form and there you have um, Carol's leave is, is all written, um, is all created in this user form. And the bonus thing is, is that it automatically has created a PDF of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the file and it says Carol's leave form. And here it is. We have Carol's leave PDF. So there it is in a PDF version that you could easily email off to her um, at a moment's notice. So the work is done for you. So let me show you what the code looks like. So this is the user form that I created with the name and then the combo box here uh, for, for putting the type of leave. And then we have a combo box for the month. And these are linked to, to lists that I've created in the sheet. And there's the start date and the end date. So now to see the code for the save, what we're gonna do is double click on the button save. So here's the code for my button now. And so it says private sub command button uh, three, so that's the third button on the user form, and click, and then my path is a string and my name is a string. Path, this is a wonderful little piece of code that I found. Path equals this workbook, period, or dot path, ampersand, and, and a backslash. This will, this instead of having to figure out what the path is, is going to put it in the same location, in the same file folder as your workbook is located, which is saves a lot of time and energy. Now, the name is what it's taking from the text box. And then what I'm doing is I'm going ampersand, and then I'm going uh, double quotation marks with a space in between it. And so that's a space, and then I'm gonna put, and I'm putting leave. And so that's what the name of the file is. And then what I'm doing is I'm taking, sheet four is, what my, is where my um, leave form is. And so um, sheet four, uh, equals text box one text. So that's the name. And um, combo box two is, is on um, sheet three, uh, or uh, sorry, sheet four, col or row six, column three. So it's all going in the same thing. So basically, I'm just downloading the information from my user form onto, onto, the, uh, onto the sheet. And then I'm activating that worksheet. And then what I'm doing is um, the name of the worksheet is leave form. And I'm, act, or I'm selecting A1 to H20, which is basically the whole, um, the whole user form type thing here. And then um, what I'm doing is um, selection export as fixed file format. Type is Excel type PDF. And uh, and then the, fat, the file name equals path plus name and PDF. So it's saved as a PDF format. So I will, of course, include this code in the description of my video. I will also include a link to the original video that I created this user form with the, 
use your form with entering uh, leave for your uh, for your staff's uh, vacation and time off. Please subscribe.